Shoreline, of course, was hammered by Tropical Storm Irene. Now, just a year and a half later, we're preparing for the worst with Sandy. In Milford, city leaders are not taking any chances. They're getting ready, ready, and the mayor says he wants local residents to do the very same thing. News 8's Annie Rourke is live along the water in the next town over in West Haven with more on what Shoreline communities in general are doing to get ready. Annie. Keith and Ann, West Haven and Milford towns all along the coast here are doing what they can to prepare for Sandy with Irene, a not too distant memory. And of course, we're being told that Sandy could be much worse. Now, Irene hit August 28th and residents in the West Haven and Milford area right along the coast certainly felt the impact. Many were evacuated when floodwaters reached dangerously high levels. Strong winds took a toll as well, plunging folks here into darkness for days. Now, in Milford, they will be um, they will be opening, excuse me, an emergency shelter at Jonathan Law if necessary. And the police and fire departments have also put their contingency plans into place. They will have all shifts working as long as they need to be. Yeah, again, it's you always have to prepare for the worst. Um, we're hopeful that this is not uh, that this is going to be a storm that passes us by. Well, the police department, like in all storms, uh, we're prepared to provide security. Any affected areas, any areas that may have to be uh, evacuated, uh, we'll, we'll remain down there in force to protect those areas. Now, the Milford Fire Department also asks that if you do lose power, they want you to call UI or CLMP directly because, of course, the fire department and the police department will be very busy out on the streets and trying to help people in their homes. So you should call the utility companies directly. Also, along all these coastal areas, the towns are asking that you please get your boat out of the water. Live in West Haven, Annie Rourke, News 8.